Hello, I'm Tom Ballard, one of the pastors at Fountain City United Methodist Church. It is the morning of Friday, July the 10th, and I'm so glad to be able to be with you this morning in what we might call a breaking news moment. It is news that I wish I did not have to share, but uh, certainly feel that we are compelled to share with you that due to the numbers of COVID cases rising in Knox County, our district superintendent has advised all United Methodist churches in Knox County to suspend worship. We have had conversation among some of our key leaders on the reopening team and believe that this is the responsible decision. So we will be suspending in-person worship for the remainder of July. We had been moving toward another in-person worship this coming Sunday, July 12, and celebrate recovery on July 14. But in this moment, we are suspending all in-person worship, effective this Sunday, July 12. This also applies to those that might have been intending to come to our Wednesday services of prayer and meditation. Those are being suspended as well. Suffice it to say that all in-person worship is on hold for the rest of this month. We will certainly evaluate as we go. Now, our youth have had some, uh, some conversation and have submitted a plan that has been approved for outdoor activities so I want our youth and parents related to our youth to understand that this does not apply to those outdoor activities, but let me be quick to say that if upon the counsel of our superintendent, we need to suspend those outdoor activities, then we will do that as well. But we will keep you in the loop as we go. So communication is key. I hope that you will continue to view our website, look on Facebook. Uh, you're welcome to make phone calls into the office, but, uh, but know that we are trying as best we know to keep you informed as we go. Now back to worship for just a moment. Uh, we will continue to be doing online worship. Obviously, we're scrambling just a little bit when it comes to that, especially for this coming Sunday. And so let me just say at this point, our plan will be to have traditional worship and journey worship posted online to YouTube and to Facebook sometime Sunday morning. That will be our goal. We do hope that you will be patient with us along the way because there are a lot of moving parts and we're doing our best to hold all of these parts together. I believe that is all that I wanted to share with you uh, at this time. Uh, but just to again remind you to continue to, to pray for the life of Fountain City United Methodist Church pray for the life of the church across the world in these times when uh, we're still uh, trying to figure out what it's going to look like in the future. I can't help but be reminded of the story, the biblical story that I came across again this morning for the umpteenth time. And if you don't know what umpteen is, it means uh, a number of times that I really can't count, but it's a story of Noah and the ark. Just think for a moment what it might have been for Noah and his family 
while they were on the, the, the sea of the flood, not exactly knowing when all of that was going to end, and sort of rocking back and forth, just waiting for signs of hope. Well, last week, we thought that we did have a sign of hope, and I do still believe it is a sign of hope. Not unlike when Noah first sent the dove out, and the dove returned with nothing in its mouth. You may remember that story. Noah waited seven days, sent the dove out again, and the second time, the dove came back with an olive branch, a sign of hope that the flood was beginning to recede. Noah waited another seven days, and this time when he sent the dove out, the dove did not return. So Noah knew that the flood was just about abated and that there would be a time when they would be able to disembark and see what the new earth was going to look like. I can't help but think that that is sort of where we are right now. If you know what a hermeneutic is, that's our hermeneutic. That's where our story crosses paths with the biblical story. I believe that we saw an olive branch this past week. I believe that even though we are still on our ark, so to speak, and we're still rocking along, that we have signs of hope. So hang in here with us. Thank you for your dedication. Thank you for your faithfulness. Thank you for the ways that you continue to, to give financially and you continue to pray for. You continue to uphold the staff. You continue to be faithful members of Fountain City United Methodist Church. Thank you for that. We're all on this ark together we are weaving back and forth. There will come a day when we will be able to disembark. Let's hang in there together. Let's take care of ourselves. Let's take care of one another. And best of all, remember that God is with us. Thank you, and we do look forward to staying connected. Go in peace. Amen.